All right, guys, so I'm shooting this video to show y'all the new batteries that I have bought to run my Tesla Model S. These batteries right here, when I tell you it took me like 30 minutes a piece to take those batteries off my truck. Those batteries are heavy. That is a 10 kilowatt battery. So it's two 10 kilowatt batteries that totals 20 kilowatt hours of battery storage. And when I tell you I'm tired because it was it was a lot trying to get them off the truck by myself. I kind of used my dolly a little bit to get it over here where it's at now. And I was thinking about mounting it on the wall and I, I, I believe it's 165 pounds a piece. I don't know if I want to put almost 400, I mean 400 pounds on my wall like that. So it's going to probably take me a while before y'all see me actually hook these up. I mean, it might be next week or something like that because they're going to be sitting right here for a little minute. Because when I tell you, it took me 30 minutes a piece to get those batteries off. And I still really couldn't even lift them up because it's, it's pretty heavy. Even with the handles on there, it still was heavy. So let's just look at some of the stuff that it came with. Came with the bracket. Came with an Anderson connector. <sighs> the wires. Well, you can bolt to like a bus bar. Well, I'm going to bolt it to a bus bar. It also came with Ethernet cable. And then it came with a USB cable. Uh, we'll see what that, that's for because I'm going to read the manual before I even hook these batteries up. But if you look at it, this is a 10 kilowatt hour battery. And the reason why y'all see me buying new batteries is because I hit up signature solar and asked them how long it was going to take to get the gill batteries in and they told me either the end of may or the beginning of june i'm the texas off-grid guy me me I, I gotta have batteries and you know i i know the gill batteries are great batteries i'm not they're gonna always be great batteries they work perfect you know but i am gonna give a do a test so it's gonna be a competition i bought these ba batteries from UFO Solar off eBay. A little, little more expensive, you know. These are way more expensive, actually, because uh, it's a 10 kilowatt battery, not a 5 kilowatt battery. So let's look at this. Let's look at this right here. So it'll tell you right here that it is a 48 volt, 200 amp hour made in China. That's the warnings right there. So. That's why that battery, this life PO4 cells in this battery. That's why that battery weighs to, <laughs> what it weighs because they put life PO4 batteries inside. So, and those batteries, and I'm, I don't know how many they use and I'm not going to open it up, you know, to figure out how many batteries they use. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put it to test, to the test. So 20 kilowatts of gill batteries versus 20 kilowatts of the ufo batteries i need batteries i can't wait and i know you know we got to get these batteries from china so i just went with this with ufo batteries because you know they had them on hand and i can get them faster than the gill batteries i would prefer the gill batteries but because i was going to buy four more gill batteries but you know ever since the video of the famous YouTuber that dropped that video and it sold out, I had to go another route. You know, I had to find some batteries that's available. So if these batteries become better than the Gill batteries, then I will buy more of the UFO batteries. Probably one more that'll put me at 30 kilowatts. 30 kilowatt hours, because that's what I really wanted to be at with the house, but the house run perfectly fine off of 20 kilowatts you know i did test where my house will run fine off of uh 10 kilowatts but like i always tell people overkill the system so i didn't want to run the car my tesla i didn't want to run it off of the same batteries i run the house off of which is the 20 kilowatt hour gill batteries so that's why i went and bought 20 kilowatts of the ufo batteries like say 
he have a bunch more and you know i might buy more you know i just might buy one more that'll put me at 30 kilowatt and that'll run the car so now i just got to work on the solar so i do got to get more solar so i can charge these two big gigantic batteries i mean very heavy batteries let's cut them on let's see how they work let's see if you want to if you see over here at the bottom you got the anderson connection let me see if i can move these batteries. It's a little heavy so i'm gonna try to push them you bear with me all right so if you see you got the rst ads the do the RS-485 can, the RS-232, and the RS-485 on that side. And you also have a breaker. Let me see. This is a 125-amp breaker. It's 125-amp breaker. So let's cut them on, and let's see if it's charged or what happens. Nothing happened. Nothing came on. Okay, maybe they're not charged. I'm gonna have to put the cut. Let me see. Yeah, not even on that one. Nothing came on, so. I don't know. Maybe it's not charged. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let's see. Sorry about the way that camera is. I just got off on. All right, I ain't getting nothing. I'm not getting nothing. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do is, once I get them to where they need to be and I try to charge them up, then we'll see. But it probably did, ain't no telling. But I'm at least have to uh, try to charge them up. So, let's see, let's cut that off. Let's cut that off, yeah. So like I said, these, very, these batteries very, very heavy. And I'm gonna have to see how I'm gonna mount them. Here go the brackets. And then they come with these screws. And the information is right here. So before I, you know, open up or well, hook up these batteries, I wanna read everything about these batteries. I wanna read everything. And I'm gonna follow all instructions. But, you know, new batteries. Still the life PO4 cells, which I prefer. And like I said, I talked about the Chevy Volt. Chevy Volt, as like if you want batteries in a used car, Chevy Volt is the best way to go. If you want to go a cheaper, little cheaper route, because these batteries cost me $6,800. And I also bought a 12,000 kilowatt hour, no kilowatt inverter. I bought that, and that cost me $2,500. So those are the prices on these batteries. These batteries are expensive. They're about three, three thirty-two, dollars or maybe $3,000 a piece. But with shipping and taxes, you're going to pay about almost $7,000 for 20 kilowatts of the UFO batteries. Now, Gill battery do have the best deal, but, you know... It's really around the same price if you ask me because they're 1500 plus tax. And if you look at two of them, that's 10 kilowatts. You're, about paying, you're paying pretty much the same. But what I really want to know is which battery performs the best. This battery said that it's a new type of lithium, uh, Life PO4 cells. You know, it's, I think it says 6,000 cycles, you know, zero to 100 depth of discharge something like that so it does it did say it's way you know it's a new type of uh, lithium so we'll see like i said i'm gonna put everything to test that's the reason why i'm the texas off-grid guy and i live off grid everything that i do is powered by batteries i don't have no alternate power other than the generator that i just hooked up i hooked up a generac back home backup generator because you gotta have some type of, you know, alternate power. I mean, you gotta have some type of, you know, I can't always depend on the weather to be sunny, you know, and if it's not sunny, I did hook that up and I'ma shoot a video on that and show y'all how that worked once, you know, the batteries deplete 
how the generator just kicks on and charge the batteries and everything runs off the generator until the batteries are fully charged. I did hook that up. So I run, like I said, that's a whole nother video. This video was about these UFO batteries that I just purchased because Gil, the Gil batteries was not available and won't be available until end of May, beginning of June. So we'll see if these batteries outperform the Gil batteries, then you know where I'm going. These will be my new batteries. But if it don't outperform the Gill batteries, then I'm going to stay where I'm at with the Gill batteries. So these are way, you know, bigger and heavier, like I said, because the Gill batteries are 5 kilowatt hour batteries, which is 100 amp hours. And these are 10 kilowatt hour batteries, which I think is the usable kilowatts on this is 9.6 kilowatt hours. So it's a 10 kilowatt hour battery and you can use 9.6. It's usable. That's great. And we're going to put that to the test. So I'm going to redo a test of the 20 kilowatt hour gill batteries. I'm going to charge it up to 100% and I'm going to see how long it lasts without solar. And then I'm going to end up doing this the same way. I'm going to charge them all the way up to 100% and I'm going to see how much, how long it will last without solar. So that's going to be my test. It's going to be two separate tests because I know it's going to be long videos. I mean, gill batteries might last eight days, seven days, you know, without solar. So we'll see how that works once I get it up to 100%. And then we'll see how long this one lasts. So we'll run that test. And then we'll run a test on how long the charger, I mean, how fast could the Tesla deplete the gill batteries and how fast the Tesla can complete the UFO batteries. And that'll be my test. So. That's all I wanted to just talk about these batteries that I just purchased, brand new batteries, you know, from UFO Solar. I mean, UFO, I think Buy Cheap Batteries, something like that. That's the name of the uh, company that I bought it from off eBay. But like I said, I paid $6,800 for these batteries. I also got a $2,500 inverter, which is a 12,000 watt inverter that's coming to charge the Tesla, you know, because I needed a big inverter. I have the uh, MPP Solar 5 thousand watt inverter but that's not enough power to uh charge the tesla at 220 or 240 so that's all i wanted to show you guys man and i hope y'all stay tuned make sure y'all like comment subscribe and please stay tuned for my tests on running on the 20 kilowatt batteries of the gill and the 20 kilowatt batteries of the ufo batteries so i'll see y'all in a few weeks all right so I figured, oh, I talked to the guy where I bought the batteries from. He said that I had to, and I wanted to shoot this video because I want y'all to know how to cut it on as well if y'all ever think about purchasing these batteries. So he said you're supposed to stick a pin or something in here, hit the reset button, something like that, for the initial startup. There we go. Now we got something. Look at that. Look at that. We finally got it on and say, welcome to you, Smart BMS. Battery got two notches, so it's about half percent. I mean, halfway full. Let's see, menu. Mm -hmm. So you got analog info. I don't know, P-A-R. A settings, whatever, but let's see. Let's click on something. So it's at 49 41. So we definitely got to charge these batteries up. Definitely got to charge them up. That's what we got to do. All right, so let's see. Let's go here. Okay, so it's on idle. Of course. But it's, you know, okay, I guess it's going down. I like the little. No production. All right, so like I said, I like the little way it, you know, shows the little screen. I do like that. Come on, Gil, baby, you gotta step it up. They trying to one up y'all. You know, they got the little display on there. You know, I like that. I do. You tell you where the battery's at. I definitely like that. Let's go down. Let's go back to BMS. Items get out of here. All right, 
let's see. Yeah, I liked it. So it's sitting at 49, 41 volts. Temperature tells you all that the cell voltage. Let's go down. Let's see. All right, so there go the cell voltage. Yeah, definitely liked it. Come on, Gil, you got to come with it now. You got to come with it. All right, let me start this one up. That way I have them started up. Let's see. All right, there it is. Got that one started up as well. Sitting at 50%. Let's see. Let's see where this one's at. So it's at 49, 42. About the same. Let's go to the cell voltage. And they sitting about the same. All right, so I just wanted to show y'all if y'all didn't know how to cut these batteries on, if you did. I mean, if you do buy some, you just hit the reset button with a like safety pin, and that's the initial startup. So, like I said, y'all see me hooking these batteries up in about a week or two, a few weeks or whatever. I got to read the manual and figure it out. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, so I'll see y'all in my next video.